All right. Just about getting ready here, guys. Sorry, uh, I'm not already on the bike, but I have to kind of get ready. So we're going to try and play a little free music here while we spin and uh, see how that goes. It's just uh, random YouTube music. Turn it down just a hair. <clears throat> In hopes that all this goes well. All right. You can chat away if you want. I'm fixing to get on the bike. And we're going to get 30 minutes of training done. Let me go ahead and take this water with me as well. Shut the door. Until then, 
is we got what we got. Which means there's no excuses to not do something. You can always use what you got. Now I am a former everyday cyclist. I cycled for five and a half years. I just recently stopped this July 2021. About the 15th or so of doing it every day. Or you know, at least four or five times a day. I did it all the time though. Uh, I just recently stopped doing that as my full time cardio. It was just taking too much time because I walk a couple times a day, I cycle, and I work out. So it takes a long time. Plus, it's just it's really dangerous out there on my road that I, the very first road that I get on. It's little hill after little hill, and people pass on them, and double yellow lines, people don't care, so I've been almost run over a hundred times out there, and people having to go off the road because people are passing when they shouldn't, people having to stop and wait, and it's just, I'd rather just spin, and uh, periodically I might take my bike out somewhere and with my car and go take it somewhere and go for a ride periodically. Or I might get out here in front of my house in my nice little neighborhood and just go back and forth, you know, a few times and rack up three, four miles. And uh, usually that's along with spinning. I don't usually just, I wouldn't do that on its own. Uh, usually I'm gonna go ahead and spin and then that might be something extra. So, kind of a little history of my my bike riding there for you. I started riding in uh, February of 2016. That's when I bought this bike. And, you know, I rode all the time. Very unorthodox bicycle. This is what I wore, stuff like this. Very unorthodox way of dressing. You know, regular shoes, regular clothes, uh, big reflective yellow vest, gloves, yellow gloves. That's just what I wore. So if you've seen me out riding, you knew who I was. I look different than everyone else. That's how I like it. I like being myself. And I've ridden, you know, thousands of miles on this bike. I think I need to straighten my stem up a little. Again. That's what she said. So this weekend, we had some pretty bad storms and tornadoes ripped through our area and through neighboring counties and uh, states. Uh, did a lot of damage around in Mayfield. Mayfield, Kentucky, and different areas in Tennessee, just a few miles from where I live. And so we got lucky. We just got a little, you know, some burst of wind and some rain and stuff. Power went out here for about probably 15 minutes or so and came back on. And uh, we kind of lucked out, but a lot of people died. A lot of people. Shouldn't be dying from tornadoes. We got too much warning these days. It's like dying from hurricanes. You get weeks and months in advance notice. Don't die from a hurricane. Tornadoes, you at least get some warning. So, As you can tell, I collect Masters of the Universe, the new animated series on Netflix, the Revelation series. There's two different series on, oddly enough. One's the Revelation, and then the other one's He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And it's kind of, it's called kind of the CGI version, which is all CGI, but it's called CGI for whatever reason. I collect the 
Revelations line. And uh, the place where I pre-ordered uh, finally gave me notification that some new figures came in. And so they got shipped off and uh, should get them probably by Friday. So that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. I got these here and I got a couple in my closet that I'm making. So that's where I'm really going to display everything and have shelves all in there and I've got lighting. If I can flip the switch, I'll put some uh, LCD lighting around the door on the inside. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have them all displayed in there. In the cases, I don't open mine. I don't play with toys. I just like to collect them. I've never collected really anything, uh, especially toys, in my adult life. I collected the original He-Man toys in the 80s, and I had all of them. I had everything. All the vehicles, the play sets, the characters, everything. Uh, little records, books, everything. And I got rid of everything when I, when I was 16. I gave everything to one of my nephews and his mom. His mom sold it all in yard sales and uh, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Thanks a lot, sister. Anyway, so I'm collecting these things. I enjoy looking at them. I think they're really neat looking. Once I get all my shelvings and all that in here, I'll be able to kind of look at them a little better. Right now they're up kind of high and behind this TV kind of makes it hard to look at them and stuff. But I'll eventually get that closet done and hopefully have a, all the figures in there. And that'd be pretty cool. Something neat. So, let me know in the comments. Do you collect anything? Uh, do, you, do you watch the series? Did you watch the original? Did you watch the 2K series? Nobody speaks about the new adventures that came out in the early 90s. Nobody talks about that in stuff. So you either watch the original, or you watch the 2K series, or you're watching Revelations, or you might be watching the CGI one. Both of them are on Netflix. Go check them out and support them. Who would have thunk in 2021 we would have had two animated Masters of the Universe cartoons on? Crazy. And they're both good. They're both different, but they're both good. So... Getting back to this weekend, we had some family come in this Saturday and Sunday because one of my sisters got married. So we had some family come in and a few of us that already live here, we all kind of got together Saturday and went out and ate and then afterwards we went bowling, you know, had some good times there. And then Sunday, we all met up at uh, the church where my sister got married and few hours out there and did the ceremony and hung out and ate a lot of food. I ate just mostly meat. That's what she said. But yeah. And uh, I did pictures and videos for the wedding night. I would, you know, my sister didn't ask me to do it. And I wasn't even going to take my stuff. But I went ahead and took it anyway because you never know. But, you know, you can only do so much with, you know, such limited equipment and time and moving around. So my videos were all done with my GoPro and uh, the pictures I used my Nikon D3100. Just with the kit lens, pop-up flash, automatic settings. And uh, I got some okay pictures. I haven't even looked at the videos yet, so... Uh, been messing with the pictures. And I got one that I ordered at Walmart and I have, I'm having it printed out uh, to give her for kind of a, uh, a Christmas present. 
get a frame for it. A little Christmas present for her and her husband. Oops, I hope you ain't watching. So as you can tell, this is kind of a laid back spin class. We continuously spin, but we're not going crazy. We're not standing up and swinging around and doing dumbbells and flipping and flopping around and getting off our bikes and running around. And I'm not up hyping it up and running and flipping and flopping. We're just spinning, guys. We're trying to get some no impact uh, exercise, a nice cardiovascular workout. Even if you're not pushing real hard, you're still working your body, you're still working your cardiovascular system, you're burning calories, you're creating endorphins and such, and you're creating a better, more positive feeling in your mind and for your day, and uh, that's a big part of physical fitness, is it helps to keep you positive and uh, give you a sense of accomplishment and sense of being proud of yourself for doing things and uh, pushing yourself and giving yourself goals and, and all that stuff. That's what's important, guys. Same thing with my walks that I do every day. I just got back in from my morning walk. I get off my bus. I'm a school bus driver. So I get right off my bus. I put my wallet, the keys, and everything on the desk. And then I go out for my morning walk every day. So I do that, and then I come in. Nine times out of ten, I get right on the bike. Once in a while, I'll go ahead and make my breakfast, eat, and then I'll get on the bike. But, I'm, but I do those three things every day. Boom, boom, boom. And then in the afternoons, uh, nine times out of ten, if not ten, eh, nine times out of ten, we'll use that one. I work out in the evenings, in between like, say, 4.30 and 7. 4.30 in the afternoon to 7 at night. Somewhere in there I'm working out. And then I also do another walk. And periodically, maybe once or twice a week, I'll do another spin if I'm just feeling bored and restless and want to do something. So... Keep yourself going, keep your mind busy, eat healthy, eat foods that you enjoy but make sure they're healthy, and there's all kind of stuff you can eat that's healthy, believe me. I don't feel like I'm suffering uh, with my diet, I feel like I'm doing, and I call it a diet, just because that's what we call it. I'm not on a diet as in eating celery and carrots and dipping them in water. That's not my diet. I eat breakfast burritos every morning. I eat tuna wraps. I eat fish, chicken, rice. I now, I've been eating uh, sweet potatoes here for the last couple weeks, periodically. Uh, throwing them in. Um, I eat all kind of good stuff. I even make burgers. And uh, I have a healthy burger. You can get turkey burger and uh, or ground turkey, ground chicken, ground nice lean stuff like that. And have a burger uh, without even feeling guilty. They make low calorie buns. And if you stay away from mayonnaise and ketchup and all that kind of stuff, then you can have a really healthy burger. Uh, mustard has no calories. Pickles, no calories. Put some baby, put some spinach, baby spinach on it, or any kind of lettuce you have your choice. I use baby spinach on everything. Onion, uh, tomato, you're good to go. Um, if you want French fries or something like that, you have one handful, just one little boom, make you a little thing of fries. Or if you say you want fried potatoes, maybe one potato. One little small potato, cut it up, fry it up. Or if you got some potato chips and you feel okay with going that route, just one little handful of potato chips, boom. Basically, they're little snack packs about that 
many. You don't need any more than that. And then you have your nice healthy meal that feels like a cheat meal, but it's not. It's perfectly healthy and fine. Uh, as long as you're eating something, if you're, if you're looking at calories, like I do, you don't just calorie in, calorie out. That's too simple to put it. And that's what a lot of people like to preach, calorie in versus calorie out. That's true if you want to lose weight, if you just want to look at it in its basic form. But you want to make sure those few calories you're getting have some health benefits to them. So that's why I eat the foods that I eat. They're low in calorie, but there's health benefits to them. So you got to have that. You can't just, you know, worry about calories in and calories out because I can go out and eat a double cheeseburger fries and have Cokes and a cake and candy bar and, you know, whatever else I want. And as long as it fits in my calories, well, then I'm okay, right? No, because that food's not all healthy. There's a time and a place for unhealthy food. And that's extreme moderation. And once you've made progress, like I've, I've luckily made, once you've made progress, you can kind of have your cheat day, which my cheat day is Saturday. And if I want a standard typical cheeseburger, or a standard typical burrito, or a standard typical taco, or something, or pizza, you know, that's not made healthy, but it's made the standard, uh, then I'll have it. And I might have a candy bar that day, or I might have an ice cream cone that day, or I might have a cookie that day, or, you know. But it's in moderation. Yeah, I could sit down and eat a whole large pizza, but I don't need to. That's setting yourself up for failure right there. That's not just having a cheat day. That's uh, cheating yourself <laughs> out of a whole day. That's what that is. So... You want to make sure that you're doing things right. Low calories don't mean celery and carrots, and it also don't. And, and also the calorie in, calorie out, like I said, is a that's just some of the equation in the whole thing. Healthy calories in, healthy calories out. And that's how you get the best of both worlds. You get healthy inside and out. You drop weight and your insides are thanking you for it because they're nice and healthy. So, and drink water, guys. A lot of people look at water as punishment. I drink water all the time because I love it. Like, a lot of times I'm drinking at least a gallon a day. Now I've kind of cut down over the past few months because, well, you got to pee a lot. I get tired of having to go pee, so I kind of cut my water down. I don't drink a gallon a day, but I drink probably, oh, about five of these, probably five or six of these a day. So, And to give myself a treat every day, if I want it every day, I drink those big bottles of the flavored water, of the, carbonate, of the carbonated flavored water, and there's no calories in them or, or anything. No sodium calories, nothing like that. I give myself one of those every day if I want it. Uh, I, used, I used to uh, drink Sprite. But Sprite is worse for you than these drinks because there's a lot of calories in Sprite. And it's no more natural than these flavored carbonated waters. So don't let people say, yeah, but this, this carbonated water has this sugar and this substitute and this, it's harmful. Well, yeah, well, your, your Sprite isn't good for you either. So choose your battles. What wins my battle? is calories and how does it taste well the flavored water tastes amazing to me and the sprite tastes amazing but the water has no calories sprite has probably 140 to 160 calories per can so you gotta think 
Also, yesterday went to the store and I found some zero calorie syrup for my pancakes or uh, whenever I make my oatmeal mix that I make with my protein and banana. A lot of times I like to put like a spoon of some syrup in there. Well, I found some no calorie syrup. So that's pretty good. Also found some really low calorie tortilla wraps at Walmart. They got, I think it's 80 calories per tortilla for the big ones, not the little ones, the big ones. Normally your big tortillas are gonna have 200 to 220 calories per tortilla. I found some that were about a hundred and maybe 60, 180 calories. And I thought that was great, but then like the next time I went to the store and I looked, I found these. And they're only 80 calories a piece. So that's amazing. And they're good, they're nice and thin. They, they uh, let your teeth go through nice and easy and it's just it's real good. I probably have a video on my channel, you can go check it out in the playlist. That's going to be under the food category. I think I made a video on them. Always good to do. So, this week is our last week until the holiday break. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Get this week done and then we get about a couple weeks off to relax. That's always fun. Only bad part is coming back to work. You know, a lot of people get like a couple days off or maybe take four or five days off or so for a vacation. And the whole time they're thinking, oh man, I don't want to go back. Ugh, I hate that. I don't want to go back to work. Well, imagine being off a couple of weeks. And then in the summertime, imagine being off a couple of months. <laughs> so, it's great. But at the same time, it's kind of a, uh, you know, kind of a pain because you know you got to go back. But I look forward to it. Oh, my butt. Ow, my butt. My butt. Hope everybody has a good spin. Hope everybody's getting a good elliptical workout, a treadmill workout. A strength training workout, hope you're skipping rope, doing push-ups, sit-ups, whatever it is you're doing while you're watching this, we're having a good time, we're getting our exercise in, we're having some conversation, I want everybody, if you made it this far, leave some comments in there, tell me what's up, tell me what you're doing, why you're watching, let me know if you get a little inspiration from these videos, and uh, while you're at it, maybe like, share, subscribe, and uh, pass the word that body beat down is out there every day beat the body down for you and for me because if I can't inspire myself to do better it's going to be hard for me to inspire you to do better and if I remember during the live stream at the, uh, at the end I'll try and throw up a little picture of uh, my shirt designs. I have three, I think three shirts that I have designed. I'm wearing one right now. You probably can't see it from there. But let's get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. That's my saying. That's my my whole thing uh, that I started a few years ago. And uh, I have this shirt design. I have another shirt design with the hands going across the shirt that says get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. And then I have another shirt uh, that says uh, it's a fist and it has uh, the body beat down uh, going around it and that of course is for my channel and they are $30 and I only ship in United States USA and uh, $30 is not a lot guys to spread a positive message and uh, people spend that kind of money all day long on other big 
big brands, and those big brands don't care about you. They don't care about the well-being of people. They're not out there trying to do anything amazing. But I am. I'm trying to inspire a world to get up, get out, get mad, and do it to it. And that can be anything from spinning, to walking, to weight training, to playing tennis, golf, to bowling, billiards, playing some darts, swimming, kayaking, spelunking, deep sea diving, jumping out of a plane, riding a bicycle, push-up sit-ups, painting, drawing, doing photography, even playing video games. Anything that gets you going and your endorphins rushing and you're feeling good and you're feeling positive. Cooking. Doing all kinds of stuff. Just anything. Anything that's a good, positive impact on your life and your body and someone else can see it and get inspired from it. That's what this channel is about, guys. It's not just about spinning on a bike and pushing some weights. It's about everything. Be well-rounded. Have interests and hobbies that are interesting and, and give you joy. You know? minutes is up. All right. Dang, that was quick, guys. All right. Jeez, that was some insane stuff right there, guys. All right, so let me show you just a quick thing here before we sign out, okay? Let's go like so. I'll just shrink me down to about right there and I'll move me around as I need. All right, there's my shirts, guys. Get up, get out, get rad and do it to it. Then we have the ones with the hands going across. And then we have the body beat down and then the logo on the back upper area of the shirt is do it to it because the whole saying is get up get out get rad and do it to it and it is thirty dollars paypal mikeyson 71 at gmail.com leave the size the design the quantity the quality the whatever the name the address everything in the order info on paypal or you can email me directly at that same email and uh yeah, I've sold several shirts, so I'm good for it. I'm uh, I'm not some weirdo crook that's going to take you. And even if I did, you would know where to find me. Where? Well, I don't know, right here on the YouTube. So, anyway, guys, if you made it this far, I hope you had some kind of a great workout, or I hope you had me on in the background or whatever, just enjoying the conversation. Okay? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. And we'll see you next time. Have a great week. Whew. Now let's go eat. All right? Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. See y'all later. Like, share, subscribe, comment, guys. You better do it. See ya.